Right, it's the 20th of July 2019. On this day, 50 years ago, the men actually walked on the moon. This was the actual day, 50 years ago. I was 17 and I watched it in, off a small black and white TV in the nursing home where I was staying at the time. Um, so I'm going out for a bit of a walk. We've had some really heavy rain in the last 24 hours, but and we've got 20 mile an hour winds at the moment. But I had to come out. I felt suffoc I feel suffocated if I stay in too long, even with the windows open. I have to get out and get my rib cage working. But um, they're showing the footage at. Uh, from 50 years ago, at, um, even though I've seen it before, 8 o'clock tonight on Channel 4. And there's something else going on on a, one of the BBC channels, um, BBC 4, I think. Um, they're also doing something but at the same time. So, you know, I'm going to just watch the Channel 4 one because I can do catch up on them. Um, well, I can catch up on both of them. And apparently... The technology that they had to go to the moon was nothing anywhere near what a smartphone is, apparently, today. Do you know what I mean? So they reckon if we sent someone to the moon now, it would be much, much easier because the technology is so more advanced after 50 years. I mean, it is. I mean... 50 years ago, half the population still had outdoor loos. Not everyone had a bathroom. Um, there was no internet. And in lots of places, we didn't even have colour TV to the 70s. So, basically, we have come a long way. And it is reckoned that we would be able to conquer the moon much easier now using robots robots could be set up to do mechanical work controlled from earth you know digging digging stuff up um, building they reckon they can do this they've been practicing with robots something in factories for years and fine movements of their hands if you like as well so yeah and of course they also reckon that when we need a replacement part it won't be a human bit we might just get an artificial limb and they're, they're doing that on people aren't they people are getting artificial legs and things like that, that with the soldiers losing their limbs so it's all very interesting how we've come on in all this time you see Yeah, I haven't done this side of the wood for a while. I'm not quite sure where I'm going, but I usually remember certain features. I know, I know roughly where I'll come out, because there's a lower path down there that I could have followed and I didn't. Um, so this will probably come out eventually where the owl and that part of the wood is. I don't know. I, can't, I really can't remember. To tell the truth. <laughs> but I felt like doing something different because um, there's going to be a heat wave. Well, not weeks of it. They reckon it'll last about a week. No, not even that four days. So they can class it as a heat wave and not a hot spell. Um, that's starting Tuesday, apparently. So basically what that means is I need to be able to get a good walk in somewhere. I'd like to cycle somewhere really, but I think that might be a bit ambitious, especially in the heat. I was going to like drive Alberta to Yatton and then um, cycle the strawberry lane.
Yeah, I'm beginning to recognise this bit. So normally I come down a different track. There's another path I follow to get here. Yeah, I recognise the fern trees now. It's just slight deviation, that's all. This is the oldest part of the wood, by the way. Apparently, I've got lots of yew trees here. Um, it's very pretty though, still. Yeah, just I would have joined up with this way back there, but I can't remember. The path sort of slip in and then disappear. You know, it's like that here. But I recognise these trees and this avenue. So I've got reference points imprinted in my head about places. I rarely get lost. But it can happen if you don't know which direction you're going in. Or, it, I mean, you can go by the sun. I know, if you can see the sun. Not always easy in a wood. So I thought I'd do another little video. It might never ever get on YouTube. I put one on the other week. Just I just put a token one on now and again. Just put a token one on. I've got loads of them. Loads of wood walks. I've got them going over 10 years I could go back to my very first time I ever walked here on a video be interesting my voice will be younger I might not necessarily be healthier though because I used to smoke 10 years ago and um, I was suffering with breathing problems then now I'm going to turn off here because this is, I think I turn off here I'm not always sure if this is the one or the one one a bit further. I've got a feeling it is this one that would take me up by the owl. But it could be through there. I'm not sure. I always get a bit muddled. But if I look here, there's a path down to lead to the lower path. Yeah, no, this is it. But I've done this before and found I'm not on the right one. And that might actually be true now. Yeah. I'm not sure yet. I might have to go on a bit. Sure, I don't reckon this is the right one. This has happened to me before, and I've come out somewhere completely different. This doesn't feel like the right one. I'll go up here anyway and have a look. It don't really matter if I come out earlier. I think I had to go along another section. Yeah. Never mind, we'll just stay on here now. Oh, I can't be bothered to go back. <sighs> yeah, it would have been through the next lot of but it would. This happened to me last time. I, I, I went wrong. <sighs> I think. All right, what's happening in the world? Well, I think midweek next week we'll know who the new Prime Minister would be. Yeah. I still don't know if this is the right way. I'm going to go this way though. I'm going to go this way now. I know it, I reckon it's a path over there. I know I'm going this way now. Yeah, we should know. Yeah, I can see somebody now. I actually saw somebody then. This could be. I don't know, you know. This could be where the owl is. Can't tell you, I think this is the right I am on the right track, actually. That would have gone the other side of the owl. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> 
Oh yeah, there's the owl. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whirlberry Glade, that's called. Cool. They have come out of the perfect spot. I've come out at the perfect spot. I'm going to turn off now, everyone, back in your humans again.